Welcome back everybody to another episode of my Hungarian Let's Play. We last left off the previous episode having just taken a central Italian province that was required to uh, reign in Italy from Naples. And uh, we're in the middle of a war against Milan where I intend to... Show strength over him and get that sweet, sweet monarch points and that sweet, sweet power projection. It appears as though, even though we're the emperor, I don't have access because of this fort, which doesn't make much sense to me. Honestly, I would think that I could just walk. Um, uh, you know why? If we got access here, we can go this way, I think. Haha, -ha, yes, because it was actually blocking us from passing here. But now we can pass through here. So, Florence, come help me defend. Yes, 23,000. He he he. With my four shock. So I can call Bohemia in, but there's no need to call him in over such a trivial war. And uh, we completed our mission. There we go. We defended. Completed our mission to... Uh, let's move straight on to Milan, I guess. To accumulate money. So let's build some temples in Italy here. Uh, 0 0.2. And that's not a stated up. Or is it? I think it is actually. Yes it is. 0 0.2. That's that's pretty good though man. For a temple. So uh, building that. Very nice. By the way guys in the future. Obviously aggressive expansion is an issue here. For us. But in the future we're going to be expanding into Naples. And um, that fort on the hills man. I love it not hills, mountains, very cool, that will be kind of our fort in uh, Italy for the longest time, catching out uh, this guy would, would make my life very easy, and it looks like I am about to catch him out, and then go ahead and walk on to Milan, so Florence is obviously serving us really well, his troops, that's really cool, um, and I guess, hmm, I was just about to say, I guess we should release nations from uh, Milan, but we can't do that, as far as I understand, because of our, our CB. So we're going to have to be uh, content with the show strength. Let's use our siege general, set him on Milan, and uh, yeah, just be nearby to reinforce. I'm going to let Florence do his thing. I would consider that to be GG. He's only got one fort remaining. We're sitting on it. Very nice. Now, our diplomats should not be doing nothing, though. Um, let's make sure our relations are better with Muscovy. They're not quite so hot. So he did manage to win that war against, like, all of the hordes combined. So that's pretty cool. Looks like uh, Aragon is giving France a bit of a run for his money, more than I really expected. Considering we stack wiped both of his troops as they sent them over there. But nonetheless, France will be uh, victorious, I suggest. And uh, I will make sure to sell, uh, return these units to Florence as soon as we're done with them basically. Right now they're serving us well because I don't want to take even defensive battles if they can be avoided. Nice. Let's take some land maintenance modifier reduction in the meantime. Try to prosper as much as possible in this sort of downtime. And uh, keep building some temples. Some cheeky cheeky temples. So yeah, we've got plenty of time to take these two provinces, but nonetheless guys, like we're over 50 aggressive expansion already. The reason that the coalition is not forming is because we've got truces and it's a nice little vent there. And because uh, our relations are so high with these nations. I mean, how much can you like maintain though as you just keep expanding? I, I think, again, I said last episode, I'm pretty optimistic. I feel like we're pulling it off and uh, feeling really good about that. Really, really good about that. 
making a lot of money from looting this land while we're at war, which is pretty cool. And not so costly on the war exhaustion, so I think that was a really good move to clearing on Milan. Uh, let's develop though. Oh my goodness. A free 100 admin, or alternatively, this guy gains f one admin to his rank. So 80% chance to get that. Yep. Um, bloody hell, that was a nice event. Very nice, love it. So let's tech up for negative 10. I'll do that, no problem. Get us these workshops. And uh, 0 0.1 in Pest. Now, Pest is going to be way more developed in the future, so I'll definitely build that. And uh, at the moment, nice. Got some uh, missionary strength available here. But I'm going to put that on the back burner because it gives some reform desire. And uh, we've got 100% religious unity. So let's try to delay the reformation if possible. We're almost at 100% wall score. Yeah, I was, I was about to say that our temples are giving us 0 0.1 at this point. So I might as well build the 0 0.11 production. Because I know that the production is going to raise through the roof there. But let's build the marketplace first. And uh, we'll build the workshop later. Are you done, Milan? You're done. Okay. So we've got to spend some military somewhere else. Um, yep, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Oh, well, I mean, the more manpower and manpower we gain, it will really help us out. Our force limit is so high. Uh, forget, forget legitimacy, dude. Let's just develop. I haven't built a temple anywhere but here. And, um... That's fine. We'll have plenty money, plenty of money in the future to industrialize our land. At least I hope so. Alright. 100 power projection and 100 to each monarch point. And a, a truce with Milan. Yes, baby, please. Beautiful. Now this is beautiful as well. Our manpower is low, but we just gained the national manpower modifier 20%. Beauty, mate. And we can now tick up for negative 5. I'll take that military soon, but we're not at war, so I might as well delay it further. Alrighty, that was awesome, dude. I'm feeling so good about this game. You guys, I hope you don't sort of uh, dislike my enthusiasm. Like, I've, I'm really enjoying this. It's amazing to me after like 3,000 plus hours of playing this game, how much uh, fun I can have when I just kind of end up doing something that I really like, like a campaign that I really like in particular. Uh, we're about to complete our mission of improving relations uh, with uh, Mamluks, and uh, I was thinking that Milan, yes, would become an invalid rival. So now we can see what our options are, and I'm really hoping... Burgundy is there, guys. I'm, I'm kind of, uh... Burgundy? No! Not good options, dude. Shoot. Shoot. I think we're just gonna go with two rivals for now, guys. At least our power projection is very high. I think more options will become available soon, honestly. Like, uh, Aragon, Castile, the Mamelukes... Uh, part of the problem is we're becoming so powerful so quickly. We're the sixth great power and our score is ninth worldwide. Um, you know what we should do, guys? Let's quickly declare on Kiev. That's something we can do in this downtime. Uh-huh. Lebec's expanding some more. And we've got a truce of him, so he doesn't want to return that. You bastard. And uh, how's our truce with, Mal with uh, Valachia? Comes up in two years. 
prove legitimacy, Diplo reputation, that's pretty good reward, but unless we get some events, it's not going to be easy to prove legitimacy. This is a good reward, but we're not going to be able to do that. Uh, and this is still Vassalize, Transylvania. We don't have the Diplo slot, so let's re-roll. Cancel access here from the Pope. Uh, we've done a pretty good job rushing down uh, the Diplo ideas, guys, in my opinion. We're almost there, getting 12 a month, and then I'll switch my focus to admin, where my next group is going to be religious. And, of course, we don't have that much admin to spend on expanding at this stage because of our grist expansion, etc. So it's a really good time, especially with our rule and our power projection, to try to smash out... Ah, Milan. Okay, you'll do. You'll do. Let's just get Milan as a, as a dude. I'm sure he'll become invalid again. Gives us additional power projection again when he becomes invalid. Um, yeah. I knew not va rivaling Austria was a good move, dude. Because that would have put our relations below. And uh, probably with this little bit of aggressive expansion, plus that would be 50 alone, I would suggest. And uh, then we'd be dealing with Austria in the coalition. I can't see how many troops there are here. 19. Help a brother out, Florence. Trying to help him? Yes. Uh, let's use our better general here. Because that's actually a battle in the hills. But we'll make short work of them. Okay, that was easy. Kiev is dead as a dodo. Gonna go ahead and consolidate these infantry. Try to, um, like I said, in this time of peace, really kind of uh, lick our wounds, be as economical as we can. Because there's not that much going on. So, I plan to fully annex him and take his cash. Nice 100 ducats there. Why not? That's an extra province we can add to the empire. Um, the other option is we force religion on him and take his cash and then declare it on him again in the future. But why don't we just deal with the one heretical province? I don't see anything wrong with that. We'll be good. And yeah, our truce is up with the Pope, so we could go in against him at any time. And I, I think I might declare sooner rather than later while he doesn't have any allies. Uh, and we can just sit on that spot and peace out when we think it's uh, the best time to do so. I mean, we can sit for five years at war and it's going to take probably a year or two to siege down his forts. So I don't really see why we wouldn't do it. We're, we're quite stable. Uh... I did think I'd fire these troops, but let's keep them around just in the meantime while we sort of fight these wars. Transylvania's guy again against Kiev. Too late, buddy. Too late. I mean, he gets some power projection just from declaring the war, you know. He's trying to get involved. Yeah, so are you going to give us excess province? It looks like it, eh? So we can just walk out here. All right. Let's do it. What the hell? My claim is despaired. God dang it. No, let's not do it. We need the claim on the province. Damn it. We have to wait for that. Damn it. I didn't notice my claim despaired. That's my bad. Let's go ahead and build. Oops. No. Our market has not finished here. I'm going to wait for the market to finish and then build a um, workshop in our capital. So I could easily just go into Transylvania as well, but I'm going to wait until our, we see how our aggressive expansion is after this war against the Pope, because we know full well that uh, he is a Catholic. And even though he's a tiny little guy, we'll get additional aggressive expansion. Uh, this is a really good time to declare on the Pope and ruin our relations, because... Um, the French are in control of the papacy. 
and uh, the French will not excommunicate us because they like us. So it's a really good time to go in, uh, just finish up that claim. Okay. We'll lose 10 prestige here over the 5 Diplo, believe it or not. Because uh, we're getting plenty of Diplo all day, every day. Diplo, I mean <laughs> prestige. We're getting plenty of this prestige. Like It's just going up in general, but fighting a war like this and winning it gives us a little bit of prestige as well. I'm sure that we'll be back at 100 in no time. Okay, Florence finally cancelled that. Understandable. And uh, we make more money anyways. That's fine. I was going to cancel it anyway, Florence. Oh man, I've lost track of time, guys. But um, hopefully this episode is not too short. Huh. Manpower, unrest, or tax. I really like our manpower and uh, tax. I think we're actually going to go for the unrest. We'll just deal with our rebels at this stage. Uh, so there we go. I mean, our ruler does have the two, so that counters that out, and then we got the one here, so we are fairly stable in general, and we're wealthy enough to deal with some instability. Yeah, so I'm going to end it here, guys. Um, I, I'm literally waiting on the claim for the Pope, and then I plan to go in against him. See, he made allies. Damn it, I knew it was a good time to go in, but maybe I can just, as a great power, just break alliance. Yes, we can. Sick. So I'm going to do exactly that. We're going to make those claims. And we have approximately 10 years to finish this war. Uh, so that should not be an issue. Uh, I'll make sure to use our diplomats to top off these relations. So I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be good. If there is a coalition, um, you know, it's going to have to be massive to handle us in an offensive war. Uh, so I think we're going to be good. I'm feeling really good about this game. I'm really enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. And uh, I'm going to be able to have, like I said, be satisfied, hopefully, after next episode with this recording session and uh, until the next one, which I will do next weekend. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you next episode where we finally, hopefully, reign in Italy. See you next time.